Today we're going to talk about virus removal. Uh, the process that we're going to cover today will take care of about 90% or so of the viruses out there. Uh, there are some other issues you may run into along the way. We will release subsequent videos on how to get around some of those pitfalls so you can end up getting your computer completely clean. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want a USB flash drive or an external drive or a uh, CD and we're going to gather the software, Arkill, Malwarebytes, uh, the links to them are going to be down in the comments below the video so go ahead and check that out and make sure you get everything before you go any further on the video here with this. So anyhow, assuming you got those files, next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn the computer on. Okay, during the boot process here, we're going to, as soon as our splash screen comes up, we're going to try and hit F8 a couple times so that hopefully we're going to get this screen here, our advanced boot options menu. And we're going to select safe, men, safe mode with networking. Okay, we're going to see a screen like this where it's going to show all the processes that the system runs. They're all going to load up and we're going to get a simplified version of our desktop in just a moment here. Okay, now if you come up and you've got a couple of users, you want to at minimum have an account that has administrator privileges, but if you have a dedicated administrator account, you can just go straight into that. So once your desktop loads here, the first thing we're looking for here, it's going to give us an, uh, a warning here telling us we're running in safe mode, describing what safe mode is, and we're just going to click yes to proceed. As soon as we get our taskbar on the bottom here, we're going to right click it, we're going to click, click task manager. Okay. What we're concerned with here is the process tab. This will show us every process that's running. If any rogue processes come up, we'll be able to monitor them here. Okay, so we're going to move this to the side. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to insert our USB drive. It'll take just a moment here. We're going to open our USB drive and what we're looking for here is that Arkill file. And we're going to copy it. We're going to paste that directly to our desktop. We're going to double click Arkill and allow it to open and run. Now what Arkill does, Arkill will go ahead and kill any virus processes that are known. So this will get you a leg up so that you can run your virus removal processes. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back into our external drive. We're going to run our Malwarebytes install. So select your language, proceed. Accept the license agreement, proceed. So information about the install, proceed. Install location, proceed. Menu folder setup. The only one we're really concerned with here is a desktop icon. We don't need a quick launch icon. So we can click next, then we can click install. Once the program installs, the next thing it's going to want to do is it's going to want to update. So here we're done installing, and we have update malware bytes checked, and we have launch malware bytes checked. We're going to click finish. Okay, now that we've completed our updates, go ahead and click OK. Okay, now we're on our main screen here. We want to click the settings tab. We're going to go over here to the first box that's unchecked, Terminate Internet Explorer during threat removal. We want to click that. That's going to stop anything, any scripts in your cookies or your temporary internet files that might use Internet Explorer to exploit you to get the virus back on. Uh, so anyhow, we're going to do a quick scan here. We'll click scan. Some computers this might go as quick as 15 minutes. Some might take up to 45 minutes, depends on how much data you have, how fast your computer is. And right here, objects detected, that's going to show every infected file that they find on your computer. Alright, once our scan's complete, instructions here say it's completed successfully, click show results to display all detected objects. So we're going to click OK, and click show results. And this is going to show us all the virus processes it found. So as long as they're all checked, you can click Remove Selected. 
It's going to pop up with a notepad. You can check through each one. And each one, if it did it correctly, you're going to see at the end it's going to say quarantined and deleted successfully. From there, we can move on. After it's ran, it's going to ask us to reboot. We're going to click yes. We're going to allow it to reboot. We're going to remove our USB key. We're going to go into a normal boot. Once it boots back up, we're going to check for internet connectivity. We're going to open some programs, basically see if we have any of the issues come back. And if they do, then we're going to repeat the process. So here we are back, coming back, loading up our desktop, virus-free now. So since we're on XP here, we're going to go open up the Start menu and right-click on My Computer. We're going to go to Properties. Once the Computer Property menu pops up, the tab we're interested in is the one that says System Restore. We're going to go ahead and click that. And then there's going to be a checkbox that says Turn Off System Restore. We're going to click that, and it's going to delete all of our restore points. Then we turn it back on, by unchecking it, we're going to click Apply. We're going to click OK. And that should be it. Virus free.